Hey guys, so this video is going to be about my 97 Grand Cherokee. It's a limited, it's got a 5.2 liter engine, and it's going to be basically showing you what you could do without a whole lot of money. So a little bit about the Jeep. So I, I got this Jeep for about three grand on Craigslist, and it was kind of a mess when I got it. It didn't it looked nothing like this. You know, it actually had bumpers and not 35s. I haven't put a whole lot of money into it. I think total with buying it and replacing broken parts and rebuilding axles and suspension and tires, I've put about nine grand into it over the course of one year. So right now I'm running Milestar Patagonia tires, uh, 35 inch tires on 15 inch wheels. And yes, it does have a wheel spacer because it needed to clear the coils in the rear. Um, with this wheel offset, it was rubbing when I flexed up on a curb. So for the axles, I have a Dana 30 in the front and a Dana 44A in the rear. They are rebuilt and re-geared to 456. And that gearing is actually pretty good for the V8 and 35s, you know, drivability on the on the highway, RPMs, and off-road capability. So on the front axle, I have open gears and a Rough Stuff Specialties diff cover, very strong. Uh, I do need to paint it because it is getting a little rusted. And the rear axle, I am running a Aussie locker. Uh, it's a mechanical locker and yes it does click on the road when you're taking a turn or where, whenever you're taking a turn and it's not as bad as some people say uh, it's you know I'm used to it by now but overall I think it's a great locker and it's not that expensive I believe I got it for about 300 bucks so for the brakes in the front I'm running stop tech brakes I don't know exactly the official name of them but they work amazing they stop this Jeep very well I can lock up the front tires if I need to on 35s and it just changed the performance of stopping so much for the steering in the front I'm running a cab fab uh, Heim joint steering and I believe it fits on TJ's ZJ's and XJ's and it's a very strong steering uh, no play in the Himes, of course, and you know, you won't. That would be one way to help get rid of any death wobble. I do have a steering stabilizer shock just in case because you know, these big 35s, I don't want it to death wobble at all because it, you know, might break something, which would not be fun. So it just did start raining a little, a little hard, but that's okay. For the suspension, I'm running a five and a half inch iron rock long arm kit, which is a great kit. Um, I've always wanted long arm, and so I decided to switch to it. It is a good height for 35s right now, but I am probably going to have to make it a little bit higher, and it is starting to pour. Look at this. All right, so I'm gonna try and speed this up a little bit. So. I have a roof rack on there. I made a video about that and that thing is actually great and you know never done me wrong. Uh, it's very strong, custom built and yeah. So on this kit the lower arms are huge. They are I don't know what the diameter is of them but they are beefy so it's a very very strong kit. I used to have a Rubicon Express short arm kit on here which was a perfect budget kit. Um, I, it had lower arms and the upper arms are stock, but it had the lower arms, springs, and shocks. And this Jeep rode so nice on the road and even nicer off-road. Right now, I am not a big fan of these shocks. They're the Dosh Tech shocks that come with the long arm kit with Iron Rock. And if you do decide to get that kit, get the Bilsteins. It's worth the hundred bucks. Soon I will be switching to either Fox or Bilstein shocks, uh, just some reservoirs, something simple, nothing too crazy. I wanted to do um, 
bypass shocks, but I felt how the Fox Reservoir shocks ride, and I think it's worth it to go that route. So this Jeep did start off with a, the transfer case was a 247, which is an all-wheel drive transfer case, but I ended up breaking that on a trail, the four low. So I decided to switch to a 231, which is the two high, four high, four low transfer case. And it's very simple, uh, more a little more simple than the 241, which is a has a uh, all-wheel drive option. Right now I'm working on a few things not completely done, like getting a front drive shaft that works, uh, trimming the fenders because the tire rubs on them, and I need you know front and rear bumpers and rock sliders and frame stiffeners and all that, but right now it's at a driving point and I could take it off road, but before I do that, actually have to trim and add bump stops uh, bigger bump stops because the tires when they're bigger they hit the fenders a little quicker so I'm gonna put some pucks right in there so yeah so now we're gonna go into the interior not too much has done been done to it but you know I got a Samsung tab a for all my you know, offline maps and stuff like that. You know, I got Gaia GPS right there. I got uh, Google Maps and I downloaded the local area I'm in. And I have Spotify um, and I have a bunch of songs downloaded for the music. So it's always hooked up to the Jeep and I don't have to take it out or anything. And it's honestly been awesome. These things go for about 160 bucks on Amazon and I'd say it's definitely worth it. One issue I had uh, it was kind of a big issue was the cup holders because they were really sloppy um, They're really big and Drinks would fall over fall out and it wasn't good. So I decided to get the Mountain Vista off-road um, I believe it's called Mountain Vista uh, cup holder, you know thing and uh, it, it Helps so much it keeps the you know drinks in there uh, no no drinks are falling out spilling over anything like that so I hope you guys enjoyed this video of my Jeep um, basically I'm just trying to you know show people what you can do with not a whole lot of money and you know I know some people want to go off-roading but they don't you know they don't think they can because of you know money like off-roading is expensive and you know it can be but you can also make it pretty cheap I'll be coming out with uh, more videos of my friend's Jeeps. Uh, I have a friend with a, I believe 2001 uh, WJ, which is a Grand Cherokee, the generation after this one. And that one's a little more budget than this one. And he can still do a lot of things. So yeah, if you guys have any more questions or you know anything about this Jeep, let me know down in the comments and you know, do my best to respond to it. And I'll be updating you guys on, you know, more mods and stuff that I do to it. Um, and the trailer that I'm building for it, Overland Trailer, uh, to, you know, put the rooftop tent on and all the camping gear. So the Jeep's not too weighed down while I'm trying to, you know, go have some fun. I can just drop it off at the campsite and go out wheeling. So let me know if this video was informative for you guys. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.